Hello everybody, I'm Jody, the Blue Eyed Crafter. And this is a super cute project that we're gonna make today to hold our Hershey treats for our trick-or-treaters. You're gonna need a piece of um, cardstock. I'm using the Blackberry, Blackberry Bliss. Um, cut it at seven and a half by three and a fourth. Then you're also gonna need two pieces of designer series paper. Um, I'm using the Monsters Bash. Um, this piece is three by two and 11 sixteenths, and this one is three by one. Um, I'm gonna show you how to, how to heat emboss first. So we're gonna stamp, stamp first. Uh, um, this is called the embossing buddy and it um, takes the static out of the paper and it also gets all the oils off of your fingers so it won't the embossing powder doesn't stick I'm going to use Versamark ink to ink up our stamps Gonna shake a little embossing powder on there. I like to whenever I have to color a lot or use markers, I always like to do heat emboss because it's easier to stay in the lines. I'm not the best at coloring. Okay, so now we're gonna heat emboss. Okay. And I'm also using the stamp set um, tags, tags, tags. Pumpkin, I'm going to use pumpkin pie cardstock, just a scrap will do. And I'm just going to use our memento ink, just black memento ink, tuxedo black. here because when it's photopolymer it helps give it some cushion. All right, now we're going to cut it out with our dye. Um, this is called Trio of Tags Dye. And this is going to be a bundle when the holiday catalog comes out uh, 
September 4th. And you always you can get ten percent off if you buy them together. Now, if you, you I used um, my Stampin' Blends, um, I used Granny Apple Green, Stuff, Yellow Delight, um, Dark Girl Red, and Black Bird Bliss. But the magic of TV, I already have it done, or I got them colored. The two that we're going to use. And um, then you want to fussy cut them out. Now, I have a. Um, a brother scan and cut so I was able to have this cut um, have the machine scan it and cut it for me um, to do this otherwise you'd have to fussy cut and cut it with your hands with, with scissors um, for me I make a lot of treats so it just is much more time-consuming to have that extra tool okay so now we're gonna score in the landscape position, we're going to score at three and a fourth, or no, I'm sorry, one, one and one fourth, one and five eighths, two and seven eighths, and three and one fourth. Hang on, I don't think I did that right. Let's do over. Okay, it is one and a fourth, one and five eighths. So one and let's see, one, two, three, four, five eighths. Two and seven eighths, so two, seven eighths, and then three and a fourth. I know I was doing something wrong. Okay. All right, now you can use whatever tool you want as far as um, for a corner punch. This is retired, but I'm, I, I still have it, so I'm going to use it. Um, our envelope punch board has a corner rounder on it. You can use that. We're just going to do the top two corners and then the top two of your designer series paper. Now we're going to go on our score line. And then I'm going to use tear and tape for the adhesive. So this box is just going to roll up just like that. So I'm going to put the adhesive right here. This is super strong adhesive. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to use this. You could use um, your uh, snail adhesive if you want to use that. I can get it over there. I'm gonna put one more piece on the back here. Okay, so we'll roll this up.
And then we will use our multi-purpose glue. I ordered snail, but I haven't put it in my reusable thing yet, so get on that. The good thing about the multi-purpose glue is if you need to reposition something, it gives you a little bit of time. Which I clearly need. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to put dimensionals on the back of this guy. Dimensionals on the back of this. And then I'm just gonna glue the back of this guy. And put a little couple dots of glue off for the eyes. And we got some cute little googly eyes. Yeah, didn't get to stick. And then I also have some rhinestones from these are called Monster Bash Enamel Shapes. And I'm just going to put a couple of these on each end of the label here. Give it some bling. And that is it. Put your little candy bar in there like that. And I can stand up. Oops, I lost an eye. I'm about to re-glue that. Okay, that's my project for today. Thank you.